Finn Mulligan. That is, is that part of the prize support? Do you uh, get the card I holder? I think it might be, and I think he's deciding to use it now. Oh, uh, it is the prize support. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, awesome. Um, Netrunner 2017 National Champion. And we got three servers coming out, not respecting the siphon. He's probably able to duck it on Josh's side if that siphon does come out. Mm -hmm. But he For also sure. might have the, if a Temujin down, comes down, he might have the assembly lines. Yep. So, so this was a keep on both sides. Uh, we've got, we started off with a gamble on Dean's end. Uh, what else we got here? Can we talk a bit about Josh's list? Of course, yeah. So Josh's lists have been uh, pretty well known, public. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been playing a lot of Moons, a lot of Andy for a long time. I played actually at the Montreal Regionals. I was playing most of Josh's. Cool. Releases runner deck. Yep. And uh, just looking at this really quickly, it's actually relatively similar. Actually, uh, n no big changes except there's a team sponsorship here. Yeah, the team sponsorship makes it in. He's going yeah, for the Vitruvius, yeah. so that's a bit faster scoring. Oh, well, actually, yes, of course. Got a food off the top. Nice Hold peel. He's also coming in. That's huge. That's just on a stealth. This yep. is a good open. Oh, uh, yeah. Food from hand, yeah? Yeah, food from hand, yeah, for the HQ run. Mm -hmm. And we're getting down an Aeneas and the Gamble. So we're going to get some reses here. Yep. Daily business shows up. You want to get that as early as possible. Control your draws, especially when you have an open HQ. Mm -hmm. That can be quite an issue if you can't figure out or can't stop those agendas. Uh, ice in this deck. We're looking at three architects, two vanilla. Uh, and uh, of course, the fair childs have to be here. Yeah, yep, there they are. Right yep, there. So that's not a lot of ice. We're talking about that's eight ice there. Mm -hmm. so the chance of you finding something is pretty low. The Jackson is going to be digging hard. Yep. And this is one of those kind of games where if Dean finds that uh, medium turn one, he is just in such a good spot. Yes. But uh, ironically, that medium's not going to find him a lot because Josh is holding a fair amount of agendas. Josh is holding a lot of agendas. He probably wants to ditch some of those uh, to the Jackson. Jackson can yep. pull those back, but I think there actually might still be one or two agendas in HQ. Uh, also, if Dean decides to respect Jackson and run archives, then well, yeah, he's, pull ups on the table too. Like yeah. he, if there's agendas in there, he has to trash this right away. Ah, uh, yes. And starting hand, John Mastanori, he's going to get a value whatever. Uh, this is very good. This goes. is uh, this is the inverse of the match we saw last time. Uh, 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 Dean forgot to discard the hand size. That might be accurate. I think with two on the table, two in the heap, he might be okay. He might have fixed that with the Caldera. But there's the assembly lines. That's coming down. That's before a run has started. So he can pick a piece of ice, or actually, not a piece of ice, it can be any card. Oh, that's actually being trashed. Okay. Excuse me. There's, uh, yep. There's these the and if he doesn't trash that, he'll make a credit off the Aeneas, so you're going to get value finding out what all these stuff are. Yep. If there are also agendas in archives, you can run R&D, run archives, run R&D for the shuffle. Mm -hmm. And he has also the... Oh, that's an employee strike. Sorry, not a rebirth. Good opening. I think going this HQ is, is yeah. fine, and the strike is coming out. This gives a bit more value, because I know Josh is holding on to that current, to the enhanced login protocols. Will he want to shut that off? Mm -hmm. So... These are Moon's HP decks, they only have basically two ways to get economy. Uh, there's only two ways. It's either you get a big old Moon's or you get a turtle backs down. Yep. And you also have your passive uh, econ from your ability. Advanced and that's assembly lines. Assembly lines also, yep. yeah, that's really true. And putting a card down like uh, Employee Strike, that takes two credits off the assembly lines. It does. That halves the value of that card. It does. And Josh is going to need money if he wants to res his ice. Like even resing an architect going down to two credits, mm. uh, that's going to be an issue. For sure. This is very interesting because this is the, the mirror, ostensibly, yeah, from what we saw. Yeah, from what we saw, uh, Jason Dang versus Sung Ho Lee. Um, but this game has gone completely differently because of the Andy opening start. That nine-card hand, explosive. Enjoy it while you can, folks. What's that signature on Andy? I'm actually not sure who signed that. I would imagine the artist. Zellinger. Yeah. Uh, you generally get a lot of those cards signed when you go to events, they're generally mm. there. Uh, but there we have the current, so if um, Dean wants to run, he's going to lose two clicks, but that's John Massonori there, gets the value. Yes, it's basically like it's drawing a, yeah, a card. Basically drawing a card. And I still don't think Josh is respecting the Jackson. In fact, he is now, because right. there's always the threat there with the pull-up pull for three mm -hmm. credits. And so those agendas are going back into R&D. I don't know whether any were on the bottom of the Daily Business Show, but running R&D has some value. Yeah. I think uh, Dean might want to just beeline for a medium if he can. Not really a card you can tutor or find an, uh, a Temujin. Yes. Because he wants to turn that... Uh, oh, that, yeah, turning that current off has some value, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why I included Rosetta 2.0, being able to find the medium uh, in my deck, a keyhole, very easily. So I don't think he has a Temujin hand, does he? It doesn't look like it. No, Wait, uh, unless... Oh, no, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're going to get some value out of that. You don't have the career bear value, but R&D is going to see new cards. Yeah, and also, especially if you rip uh, an agenda off yes. the top of R&D, that is max value. 
Also, with the money from Temujin, you're now able to trash cards off the top of R&D, taking very little of a tempo hit, so you can see more cards. Yep. It's the poor man's medium, I suppose. <laughs> but he's not uh, he's not installing it. Instead, he's electing to take just a raw HQ run. Single run of HQ, and yep. I think there might actually be one agenda. Bing! There. Nope, that's a friends, but you're going to get your triggers. So let's see if you run... Trigger, singular. The John should be firing here, should be yep. drawing the card. Uh, missing that, I guess. And I think if you commit to the enhanced logging protocol, so this means he's going to be drawing for the, every other click in his turn. Mm -hmm. Because of sunk cost or something like that. Yeah, that, it's exactly because of sunk cost. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hitting that, top. sure. And I think that's the John. And then drawing. Draw. Yep, the drawing of John, yep. So I think it's one click left. You might want to put the that, um... I think you actually want to get your money before you get your card draw down, so the moon actually seems better. Nothing. Single X to the top, and Neos is going to fire. That was an asset. Five in hand. Uh, this protocol is still active, yeah? It's just kind of casually yeah, hanging out with Jackson the there. Side. Yep. So there was a change to Daily Business Show as of maybe a couple months ago now at this point where you used to have to tell whether you took the top card or the second card. Yeah, now you don't have to. Now you can shuffle those away. So there's very little information Dean is getting from running R&D, whether he drew whatever that card was or not. We mm -hmm. don't actually know. Mm -hmm. Also, R&D becomes less and less likely to have an agenda right on top yes. uh, the longer the DBS stays in and the longer that the deck goes unshuffled. So we do have an accelerated beta test in the hand and a biotic labor. For six credits, you can actually go for it. Could you consider firing it when you have no nice on the table? <laughs> uh, it's risky, it's but it risky, actually, but it actually depends on what he saw off the DBS earlier, of course. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, he just got the sh he got the shuffle after a few DBS runs, so it's that, risky, that is risky. But yeah, at this you point, ice. you kind of need ice. And being able to res a Fairchild Gratis is pretty solid, especially now when you're not fully established. So the Paul-Up gets fired immediately on the Stell Moon. That's going to hold him <laughs> down. That's good value. That is a Lakshmi value, but actually I don't think I don't think Josh is running Lakshmi. And he's not. Oh, cool. So that's actually probably the most value he's ever going to get with the Paul-Up. Uh, yeah, I think uh, both players have full knowledge of each other's lists at this moment. Uh, Dean definitely holding on to that Paul-Up, uh, neglecting to use it on Mr. Howard in order to keep it ready for Miss Moon. And Francis is coming back, that's a Moon's and assembly line, so that means there's probably going to be at least one counter on the Moon before she fires. Mm -hmm. And Dean has to react with this. The current all-in table is going to make that pretty difficult. Very painful. As well, he's, he's running low on credits. Three yes. is nothing to work with at the moment. Because you don't, not a lot of people actually pay credits to trash uh, Estelle. Ah, yes. It doesn't happen a lot. No, very much not. There were 27 players at this event, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, it's a relatively small nationals. Uh, a lot of the uh, major players in this region of the world uh, were not able to attend because, unfortunately, this tournament had to be held on Friday afternoon. Yeah, at not starting at 3 p.m. Yeah. Um, Still think there was, uh, we had a couple people coming in, like I think we had two from Montreal, maybe one from Ottawa. We had uh, people like Josh Wilson, Jay Dang, they came from they, the They came States. from afar, from but Ohio, um, it was definitely a lot less than um, what we're normally accustomed yeah. to. Yeah, uh, I think that was just because of challenges with the venue. Uh, the Room Booked uh, is currently hosting a X-Wing tournament, which is a very popular it's game. a lot of tables going Indeed, on. indeed. So we're still off here, and um, while Josh did not go for the aggressive accelerated beta test, that's kind of the, the, the beauty with these HP cards, that if you don't protect your centrals, if you can just put enough pressure in a different direction, they're going to have to deal with that regardless. For sure. And that Estelle went down for three more credits, and Dean is kind of short on the money. He's going to need a career fair if he wants to get the Temujin off, and in one turn he can only get like eight credits off of Temujin because of the current. Because of the current. So Sign he needs to find an agenda soon and get his money going because if you even rush behind a single piece of ice, you might be able to get something off here. Yeah. Both lots of both very thoughtful players. <laughs> Josh doesn't want you to take his time. We do have the timer there at the top, and these are 40-minute rounds. Moons generally doesn't go to time. Yeah, no. Yeah, it either wins or loses very fast, generally. Yes. And all the cards draw, all the set of cards in Dean's hand. He just needs to stabilize a bit, make sure that Josh isn't forcing him into a different direction before he can get those cards down, because those are very good. And we have our first piece of ice on R&D. Uh, not sure what exactly that was, and that is more money, and Josh is really pulling cool back here. And another Last friend. quick friends. All right, bringing back an Estelle, almost certainly. And an advanced assembly line as well. So... More cards there on the table. Mm -hmm. A DBS, and that's the kind of thing with these decks, right? That you want to trust the daily business show. Obviously, you don't have the tempo for it. It's giving Josh all the good cards he wants. It's mm -hmm. making sure he doesn't draw agendas. And remember, HQ is an ice tier. And if there was an account siphon, it might look like it's going to be pretty strong, but you can always res some of those assets and duck it. For sure. 
And Dean has his work cut out for him. So Dean isn't running a rebirth, is he? Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, no, he doesn't. So no, he's, he's going to be Honest Andy. Uh, blank ability at this point. Honest but. Andy. Yeah, he's elected to play uh, two employee strike, one film critic, as well as of course the paperclip, the inversificator, and the medium. So spending a lot of a lot of influence on breakers. That's generally what criminals have been doing this. Yeah. Um, and there's the blue moose going down. I think he's going to take a turn off here just to be able to get his economy online. Sure, and that's sensible. Josh is not really threatening Ooh, too much, suffrage. except, yeah, I speak too soon because Clone Savage is coming back, generating mass amounts of value for Josh. He's probably going to cap off this turn with a friends in high places unless... Nope, actually there's nothing of relevance in... In archives at the yeah, moment. There's not like, actually much you can do there. Yeah, of course, uh, very easily there will be uh, if he decides to pull in advanced assembly lines, like, including the one on the table. So how many players are left in this? This is uh, the winner's semis, if I'm not mistaken. So after this, there's probably this about... So winner, this is winner's final. Oh, this is the winner's finals. Excuse me. Yeah. So one of these players will be at top table. The other will be competing against uh, Jay Deng. Yes. Do you have a chance to uh, go for the No, no, no. Uh, Can I goof this? Uh, just a little bit. Let's let... Um, there's, yeah, there's four left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, both the winner's finals are playing. And oh, and then the we do losers. Excellent. Not losers finals, but losers pre-finals. Sure. Finals. Yep. And then after this will be losers finals and then grand finals. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right now, uh, lower bracket is being decided. Uh, looks like Jason is playing Eric at the moment and the winner of that is going to go on to face the winner, uh, the loser of this match. And then the loser, uh, the winner of that match is going to be facing the winner of this match. Now we have the ice on HQ. Yep. Uh, Estelle is ramping up and that's why recurring that defense is so good because it makes Estelle oh, so good. So nice. Even if you install one card there, that's value. That Bing. is technically value. Because I guess you can install another one from hand if you have it. Can't be an agenda, but uh, it, it'll still get you going with that Estelle. Oh, for sure. And Dean really needs to find his medium at some point. The medium delivery system is the only other option you have if you can't keep up with the board. Mm -hmm. And the board seems to And be the board is slipping away from his control very, very shortly. So even if you Running just barely trash it, the yep. runner, sorry, the corporal almost always pop that. It's yep. so much value. You get da daily business show on top of that, get the yep. filter your draw. Precisely that. You want to stack as much good stuff as possible. That's what this deck is uh, predicated on, actually. Just uh, being able to synergize so harmoniously. And there uh, you go. Let's click this card draw. That's kind of what he needed. Uh, remind you that current is still online, so yeah. those runs are a bit more taxing than they look. Uh, Dean isn't shook, apparently. He's decided to just bide his time and kind of uh, hope for a better board position here, uh, despite, been... despite the fact that Josh is kind of uh, in the process of going off. Playing very cleanly, he mm -hmm. understands what he needs to trash. Uh, there's certain things that you may want to take a risk on, but bringing or not trashing that senses, or not senses, excuse me, that clone suffrage movement could be a huge issue. I Fatal think error, I think. And that's another Estelle. Yep. And we're gonna keep going here and get some more card draw. I don't know if he has another friends in hand. He does. So that means like another clone suffrage movement, and like the cycle just keeps going. And even a Jeep, so now you can... Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there are three. those value assets there. Uh, Dean deciding to play Andromeda this tournament, which I'm surprised by because he seems to always go for, like, an Apocalypse build if he can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, he obviously he has had a lot of success with Andromeda as well, but, yeah, like, Apocalypse, I think, would be fairly well suited for this, uh, especially in conjunction with a turtle. A turtle can basically single-handedly Apocalypse you. So three cards are installed there. That gives you three tokens on the Stella and one extra click with the Jeeves model by Royd. So you can go in for that sweet, sweet uh, friends and I places, bring two more back. Two, actually one of those is a must trash. So we're looking at one must trash asset here, probably an agenda on the table too, to be yep. honest. And Estelle is clicking up to five. That's and a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. There's, There's the blacklist, blacklist, blacklist rest. It turns off blue moose. Unfortunately, no so value there. Dean getting absolutely just stonewalled there. Indeed, no and he, credits no credits whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. And that's how good that tech card is. Yes, it hurts the conspiracy breakers, but if it's going to stop Dean from making all the money, he has nothing to do but click for credits. Mm -hmm. He can't even contest uh, that. Uh, One, two, three, four. He clears the suffrage. And I think I guess that you have to do that. I guess you have to do that. Just hope there's not another on the table. Yeah, and letting the suffrage. Um, Free is going to just lose you the game. And again, so Josh is doing this on Dean's turn to get the most daily business show value. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Uh, there's at some point actually you don't want too many counters on the Stell because it can be on. It can, yeah. It could end up actually running you out of cards in deck. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, five is a nice, nice number to pop it at. You're going to get ten credits off of that and five cards. Six with the DBS. And Josh knows when to install cards, when to use his triggers. So Indeed. he's going to go ahead and put that one down on the table. Yep. Uh, he might actually be scoring this turn. Yep. I think his hand isn't over, overdrawn. He might be comfortable. He also might have some value in icing up that blacklist. Yep. Definitely see the value in that. And there's an ABT on the bottom, so yeah, it looks like he's got probably enough agendas in hand to just go for it. Uh, money, probably around 9, 10 credits, not actually that much. Because that's the first turtlebacks we've seen all game. So mm. all the money's been coming through a stealth. Oh, that's actually probably way more than 9 credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, again, he, he's layering his chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah there it is. There yeah. So, so ping, ship. yep. Gonna come up. There's that beta There's that the BBT, the hidden ABT. Relatively gonna low risk, probably no Not fire it, yep, for sure. And sponsorship's gonna bring a card back from HQ, a free install, or a coming in. Oh, that's mine. Thank game. you. And this is uh, kind of falling apart. Extra cards in hand, but I don't think you need that Cyberdex Fire Suite. It is good against Amakua, but you're generally able to recur that if you really need it. And another card, another server, another credit. And we are now two to two on the board. Dean still needs three more agendas. Has no, he's not running things like uh, Mad Dash, so he actually has to get some. Honest he actually agendas. needs honest agendas, yeah. And not much he can do here besides click for credits. You no. could actually run and check and get Aeneas credits. Maybe you have a second Aeneas and get some value about that. But that current is still on the table. That current is still on the table, and, and ELP just removes so much value from that uh, line of play. He's drawn cards and he can't play them. Uh, yep. Discarding them does get Blue Moose value eventually once you can deal with that blacklist. Sure, but dealing with the blacklist is two clicks and three credits at the moment. Josh can just recur that blacklist. <laughs> yes, too. indeed. Like that Blue Moose might be permanently out of the game. Dean yeah. might have to go for the sure gamble. Because mm. the Tamujin is the way he's going to get money at this game. I don't for think sure. You can count on that Blue Moose. That blacklist, so much value for one influence. Ton of value, yeah. And there we go, four credits, discard the same old oh, thing. Oh no, resing a suffrage back. movement and a turn. The clones can vote. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be worse. Yep. All right. Bang. And there you go. More installs, more credits. Yep. Uh, Estelle might be coming back soon enough with that. These decks also aren't running Restore. Not a card that I've seen. No, too actually, much you're in, right. It's, it's uh, interesting. That just came out in Crimson Dust. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it like does look like card. a very cool card. Um, and that's going to be install of a tech startup, which lets Josh choose what he wants. Uh, you might want to go for an Estelle for more card draw, more value. It looks like it's actually a work workcrew. Sure. Uh, having him to score four twos, five threes. Mm -hmm. Gives him a lot of flexibility. I've actually seen Josh score uh, Global Foods and on as the last agenda. It doesn't give you a lot of benefit, but it's nice to get those out because if you lose all the foods, you're actually in a pretty hard spot. Yes, close the game. for sure. At that and that's point, a yep. friend's coming back. Yeah, getting locked out of money, as Chad is saying, is so hard to come back It's with. very, very hard to come back from, especially against this deck, which is just Tempo City. And you saw Dean had such a good opening, yeah. too. Really, it was looking really strong. Um, Near it? Earth HB. <laughs> mm. So we have some choices here. I think we have the Vitruvies in hand. Uh, with either the Jeeves or Byroid work crew, you can get them extra counters. Uh, getting the extra counter is a big game. Quickly, yeah. yeah, you can probably close it out from there relatively easily. He also does have a friends. Maybe he wants to leave, leave that in last click. Yeah, he maybe shore up. Need the yep. value, but it's gonna keep, keep him drawing. Yeah, I mean, down. at this point, it's just about kind of uh, keeping the chokehold on Dean here. And that turtle back is gonna probably give him all the money he needs for the rest of the game. Yes, there's a biotic. Oh, he's deciding to just slot it out right now. So interestingly enough, I think we actually have a food on the bottom of the deck. Uh, so that's gonna be triple advance. A quad advance, actually. Single counter. Oh, he's going to go for the quad advance yep. and also find the team sponsorship. Yep, there it is. So card is coming back. And value on stuff. value, yep, yep, yep. And I'll be honest, I think Dean probably has to give up on trashing those remotes and just get his Yeah, money at tag. this point, get the money and then run the centrals. This is the really only way we're going to close out this game. There's Le a legwork. Legwork's yeah, actually yeah, a relatively yeah. good job. Yep. Um, it does get through uh, Architect will fire, Vanilla will fire, but he's going for that, hoping that is a fair child. Mm -hmm. And if it is a fair child, you can't click through it, so that legwork's actually going to hit. Ouch. And that's a really good legwork. Ouch. It's going to hit all the cards. All of need. his resources. RIP. Wait. Oh, just missing Did one, he? but I don't actually know if there's an agenda there. And he Did he click card. through? Yeah, he clicked through. Yeah. Cyberdex Fire Suite doesn't matter. Going to get more money on Aeneas. So that's actually relatively good if he's broken even. And of course, we knew about that card. Yeah. So uh, that's actually an issue right now is Josh has only two more foods in his deck. One is on the bottom. So he might be interested in shuffling the deck. Mm -hmm. He could actually go for more through two plays. That might be faster. And the other business show is going to pull in some cards. And I don't see what he got there. But if that's an agenda, it's going to keep rolling. I don't think it is. 
He can click through actually uh, because he, he played can. a run event. Yes, so, indeed, uh, legwork. So you can, uh, you don't actually lose a click to enhance locking protocols. So. Mm. So Josh doesn't look like he has the agenda just yet. Uh, he doesn't have a Jackson either, so he's gonna. Oh, he does have a Jackson in hand, so he might actually just want to draw up for that. He understands if there's not another legwork that uh, it's actually relatively secure. It's just very secure at the moment. Yes. Dean does not have the money to contest that Fairchild 3.0 or the clicks for that matter. Yeah, I don't know if Dean remembered his Masanori draw. I uh, actually, yeah, we might have decided. I don't yeah. know if he did, but mm -hmm. um, we also might. There is an Estelle on the table, so if you don't want to go Jackson, you can just go Estelle. Mm -hmm. I think the burst draw might be better, uh, especially in conjunction with an uncontested daily business show. You just have so many options yes. in your draw. Yeah, you get a lot of value there, and that is going to be charging up the Estelle, no doubt. So we'll probably see a res on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was seeing this in chat. This is the last tournament. This that, is the last um, tournament. This a lot is, of these yep. cards are going to be playable. And uh, Andromeda, of course, is rotating. But this is a meta that um, we've been seeing a lot of, and this is kind of the final hurrah mm -hmm. for it. More, Moreover than the rotation, we also have the ban list. Yeah, we have a rumored ban list coming up. And you see, actually, a lot of these decks rely on those cards, and that's going to be very exciting to see whether or not that gets confirmed. Mm -hmm. uh, we might actually be going for a score here. I believe yep, there it is. a card was played Bing. from hand. Uh, GFI, yeah, install it on GFI? table, yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, you're gonna biroid that. Uh, Biotic Labors has four clicks right now, advancing four times. Jeeves gives him the additional, and, hey, that's, the and that's good game. Team locked out so hard by that uh, blacklist, doing oh, so much value. It hurt a lot. Such a good opening, yeah. that's all I go. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, neither of these players are out. Josh Wilson, I believe, is guaranteed to be in the top final. That's correct, yeah, he's sitting um, on pretty in winners right now. This is Josh Wilson's second Canadian Nationals in a row. He was last year, I believe, he just came in ninth place. Just yeah, yeah, he just missed his cutoff. So I have no doubt he's super excited to be here at the top.